also known as La Dolce Lisa, and today I'm going to be showing you how I make my delicious Italian almond cookies that are known as Amaretti. Now these Amaretti cookies is a recipe that was passed down to me from my Aunt Rosa and they were passed down to her as well. So this recipe is the real deal. And today I'm putting an Easter spin on them as well because I feel like these cookies are perfect around the holidays. So for Christmas, Easter, you'll also see them at Italian weddings and showers. This is like the Italian cookie and it is the simplest cookie to make. And they won't be hard like that prepackaged stuff. These are going to be soft and chewy and tender and melt in your mouth. They are perfect for Easter. With the addition of the mini eggs that I'll be showing you in a second, they are going to look so cute. Now I'm going to be showing you everything you need to make this recipe and of course, obviously, my method and the directions as well. But if you would like the written version of that, you can head on over to my website, ladolcelisa.com, and the recipe with the ingredients and the written directions will be posted on there as well. But for now, stay tuned and I'll show you how to make these delicious amaretti cookies. Here's everything you'll need to make these amaretti Italian almond cookies. So you will need five and a half cups of almond flour. So it is actually made from finely grinding almonds. So this is basically almond meal or almond flour. You will also be needing two cups of regular white sugar or caster sugar as well. You'll be needing the whites from four eggs. So you'll be needing four egg whites. You will also be needing some extracts. The most important extract is this almond extract right here. Now this extract is just pure almond extract. This gives the almond cookies that extra almond flavor. This is very important, so you really can't skip this step. I also add a teaspoon of vanilla extract as well if you have it. If you don't, you can skip this step, but you really can't skip this almond extract. You'll be needing three teaspoons. You will also need, and this is optional, the zest from one lemon. I sometimes use the zest of the entire lemon if I want my cookies to taste nice and lemony. You can omit this step if you don't like lemon scented desserts. I just add a little bit of the zest just to give a slight lemony flavor but not as much as one full lemon. You'll also be needing some icing sugar because we're going to be rolling our cookies in icing sugar later on. And you'll be needing for Easter <laughs> these mini eggs. Now since I'm making this amaretti cookie for Easter, I'm going to put a little mini egg in the center of each cookie. If you weren't making this for Easter, you would actually just use an Italian coffee bean, they use a cherry, they use an almond, you can just use regular chocolate chips. But since this recipe is for Easter, I think the mini eggs are such a nice and cute touch. These were all the ingredients you need, and on top of that, it is a nice touch if you have a nice stand mixture. You can, of course, use a hand mixture as well. You'll need just a cookie tray and some parchment paper. And that's everything you need. So just a few ingredients, and we're that much closer to making the most delicious, soft and chewy amaretti cookies. to separate our eggs to get the egg whites. So I'm just going to be cracking this in here. And this is how I separate my whites from my yolks. And don't forget, with those extra yolks, you can always make my classic carbonara recipe. It is absolutely delicious, and I will link that recipe down below for you guys as well. Okay, so now that we separated the eggs and we put the egg yolks aside, we don't need them for this recipe. All we need are the egg whites. Now if you would like, I can try to get a little bit of a measurement going here to see how many cups this is. So I would say this is almost two-thirds to three-fourths of a cup of egg whites. Now we are going to be putting our egg whites, so the four egg whites from four large eggs, into our KitchenAid mixer. And we are going to be mixing this on a medium to high speed until stiff peaks form. <laughs> So now that the egg whites have formed into stiff peaks that took about three to five minutes on a medium to high speed, I have them aside and they're ready to use in a second. But for now, in a large bowl, I'm going to be combining all the ingredients. So the flour, the sugar, the extracts, and the zest into this large bowl. So we need five and a half cups of almond flour. So just this ground almond flour, we are going to be needing five and a half cups. So right into the large bowl. Now to our almond flour, we are going to be adding two cups of white sugar. So just white caster sugar, we're just going to be adding that right in. So two cups of the white sugar. Now you may have seen my lemon shrink in size a bit, but that is because I have this perfect lemon on my lemon tree and this is great. You actually do want to use a nice organic 
lemon because we're going to use a bit of the peel with this handy zester. If not, you can zest this on a cheese grater because I've done that almost my whole life and it works just fine. So I'm just going to be getting the zest of about half of this tiny lemon. If you want these cookies to be very lemony, you can use the entire lemon zest, but I want to give more of that almond flavor rather than the lemon flavor. So about half of this lemon is zested and in the bowl with my almond flour and sugar. And to that, the most important part is actually the almond extract. You do not want to skip this step. You can find this in your local grocery store. It is quite easy to find. And this is just pure almond extract. You can buy any brand as long as it is almond. So to the mix, we need three teaspoons of almond extract. And to that, if you also have this on hand, that is great. It is not necessary like the almond extract, but it does give it a nice flavor. I love vanilla extract, of course. So this is pure vanilla extract. These days, vanilla extract is getting so expensive. I don't know about you guys, but the price has gone up like crazy. We just need one teaspoon for this recipe. So three teaspoons of almond extract and one teaspoon of vanilla extract right into the mix of sugar, almond flour, and lemon zest. Now we are going to give the mix a quick mix with our hands, just using a spatula. We want to get all those flavors nice and incorporated. Now it is really important to mix this in a large bowl because we are going to be adding the egg whites that are nice stiff peaks. We're going to be just folding those in. This will smell very nice and fragrant at this point because we have all those extracts in the air. It smells delicious. Now we are going to slowly fold in the egg whites. Now you can see how stiff they are. That is perfect for this recipe because we're really going to be folding them in. So just throw in all the egg whites, gently <coughs> fold it in with a spatula or a wooden spoon. If you don't have a spatula, it doesn't really matter. So now that everything is nice and incorporated, we are going to be covering this tightly with plastic wrap and putting this in the fridge for at least one hour. You can even keep this in the fridge overnight if you wanna bake the cookies off the next morning, but one hour should do in order to help the cookies get nice and firm and easy to roll and as well all the flavors will mingle nicely in the fridge and this cookie will taste delicious. So I will see you guys in one hour in order to form the cookies, bake them and decorate them. I just took the dough out of the fridge. It has been sitting in there for one hour. So my oven is currently preheating to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and while it is heating, I'm going to be rolling out these cookies. I'm going to be rolling them into round balls that are about an inch and a half in size. And I have here one cup of icing sugar that I put on the side. You might need more, you might need less, but I just decided to measure out a cup because after we roll them into balls, we are going to be coating them in this icing sugar. And then we are going to be placing these cookies on the baking sheet. Now, of course, it is important that your hands are clean for this step. If you're going to be making these for other people, you can even wear gloves, but this is going to be eaten among myself and some family members, so it's okay if we just use our bare hands. And like I said, about an inch and a half in size, coat them in this icing sugar, roll them in there, and then place them on the baking sheet. These won't really spread out too much, so you can put them a bit close together, but I like to give them a little bit of space to bake. And if you do them this size, you will get exactly two dozen cookies out of this. So 24 little amaretti cookies that you could just bake off in 10 to 12 minutes. Now at this stage, what you would basically do if you weren't baking these for Easter is you would pop in a chocolate chip or an almond or a coffee bean or a cherry, whatever you'd like, you'd pop it in and you'd bake them. But since I'm doing this for Easter and I'm using mini eggs, if you bake the mini eggs, they have a tendency to crack. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an imprint of the mini egg in the cookie, bake them off. As soon as they come out of the oven and they're nice and warm, I'm going to pop the mini eggs in and let them get to room temperature together. Okay, so with nice clean hands, I'm just going to take this little mini egg and make an imprint in the cookie. So you make an imprint in the cookie, you're going to see that it will crumble slightly, which is fine because these cookies tend to crack and crumble a bit. This will help flatten them out a bit so they're not so round. And this will leave a good spot for the mini eggs to go in the end. So I have a baking sheet lined with parchment paper and I took my cookies that I rolled into the icing sugar, I placed them down, I put the little imprint on them and I'm going to pop these in the oven as soon as it hits 350 for 10 to 12 minutes. 
no longer than 10 to 12 minutes or these cookies will not be as soft and chewy. They will get a little bit too hard. Of course, if you like harder amaretti, you can do that too, but my recipe is tried and true. Usually I do 11 minutes and they are perfect. They might look like they're underdone, but they will be soft and delicious and you will absolutely love these guys. oven they are still hot so be very careful with the tray but we are just going to quickly pop some mini eggs on to these cookies and they should all set together very nicely if you didn't make enough of an indent that's actually okay because you could just lightly press them down yourself this will just ensure that the chocolate does not crack okay putting the last little chocolate in and now we're just going to let these sit for about five minutes in here five minutes now these cookies are okay to transfer over to a wire rack to cool if you don't have a wire rack you can just leave them in the tray to cool and that will be just fine but I recommend allowing them to cool for about 10 minutes and then we can either plate them eat them or package them in these cute little doilies that I will show you in a second so I'm back and because this is a special Easter edition of these Amaretti cookies, you can of course make them year round, but since it is Easter and likely you're going to be bringing them to some family or friend's house to share with them, I decided to pick up these cute little doilies or cupcake liners. These are the mini cupcake liners and they're really cute because they have a pretty color. You can even get like some special Easter edition. And now what I'm going to do is take the cookies out, place them in the doilies and put them in this cute little gift box. And I love packaging my little food baked goods in these kind of things. I think it looks really cute and it is a very nice touch for Easter. I'm just going to place these in the doilies and then pop them in the tray. And they should fit nicely. And I feel like you can gift about 20 of these to your family members. And if any didn't come out quite as perfect as you would like, like some might be a little more cracked than others, you can of course keep those for yourself. <laughs> so here are these Amaretti cookies. I have exactly 24 cookies. 20 fit perfectly in this little gift box that is going to be the most adorable little Easter present. They are so cute. I really love how these turned out. I think they look absolutely adorable with the mini eggs. I made them like this for last Easter and I'm so happy that they came out just as cute this time around. Now my favorite part is going to be trying them to make sure that they're just as good as I remember. So I'm going to grab this pink one here. This is why it's good to have some leftovers. Mmm. <laughs> oh yeah. Look how soft and chewy this cookie looks. Mmm. That just that subtle hint from the lemon zest and you can taste all that delicious almond extract but none of the ingredients are overpowering. They're so tender and soft and slightly chewy, they literally melt in your mouth. These are going to be the best amaretti cookies you'll ever make or eat, I guarantee you guys. You have to try this recipe, this mini egg on top, mmm, mmm, it's like the cherry on top. Oh, they're so good. I can't stop. <laughs> so before I eat these all myself, I'm going to definitely be sharing these with my loved ones. They're delicious. They're the perfect little dessert or breakfast or a snack. You'll love them for Easter. You'll love them any time of the year, really. So I'm so happy I could share these Amaretti cookies with you guys. Don't forget, if you like this recipe, it's going to be on my blog at ladolcealisa.com. I will link that down below so that you can check the description box for a link to my blog with this cookie recipe. I'm gonna finish this cookie and get going, but I just wanna say bye for now. And thank you so much for watching my videos. If you do like these recipe videos, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It really means a lot to me. Every subscriber makes me so happy and it keeps me motivated to continue making great videos like this one. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!